Okay, hey everyone. So um, I figured out something really cool that I'm gonna tell y'all. And um, uh, I just figured out a few days ago. It's uh, how to make your M slices uh, good on magnetic cubes. One simple trick they don't want you to know, uh, but I'm gonna let you know. Uh, and it was so simple all along. All I had to do was remember basic physics from college. And um, I took a lot of college, so I took a lot of physics that I didn't have to. And I kept telling myself, man, you're never going to use physics. And now I got to use physics all the time, and I hate it. Uh, but it's a useful skill. So uh, stay in school, kids. Uh, study engineering. Uh, if you want money, study accounting. Um, computer science, don't study chemistry. Uh, jobs aren't great. Don't study biology. If you want money and you want to do cool stuff, uh, do engineering and accounting. Um, but back to this point, uh, you probably came here to learn about this cool, simple trick. So, um, I'm gonna have to explain it with physics. As much as I hate it, physics really does a lot of cool stuff in real life, and it really, really helps you understand the world around you. So, um, when you look at the old videos, so when uh, GTSMs first came out, Drew Brads posted videos, and people realized M slices were bad, um, and they attributed it to magnets, because the slice in the middle has the force of 16 magnets instead of 8 magnets. But something didn't make sense. There's a paradox here. Um, if there's too much force, people should be undershooting. But people aren't undershooting. People were overshooting. And I was thinking to myself, that doesn't make sense. Why? Why would people overshoot? Is it some weird magnet interaction? But that doesn't make sense physics-wise. Until a few days ago, it hit me, and uh, it goes back to things from basic physics. Um, it's all about a thing called rotational weight, and it goes back to torque. Um, I said in my last video, you might need college physics to learn torque. Um, I should clarify, like uh, they teach you torque in freshman physics. Um, but anyways, uh, you can look up all these things if you want to learn more. I'm just going to give you the basic rundown. So when you take a magnetic cube and you're doing outer moves, you get used to the force. Um, but every outer, every outer um, layer, there's actually like 20 magnets. There's 20 magnets because three magnets in each corner, three times four is 12, two magnets in each edge. So four edges times two, eight. 8 plus 12, 20 magnets. That's, let me hold it. That's this many magnets that you're turning. It's this much weight. This is, these are metal, like neodymium. So these are, it's, it's not negligible. But when you look at the inner slice, you're only turning with like, there's only four edges turning plus the center. And in the center, there, in the, in the M slice, there are only eight magnets. So you're thinking about, it's like the difference between, look at here. It's the difference between this much weight, this is an outer, outer layer in this hand, and this is a slice. You're turning this much weight compared to this much weight, and when your hands get used to turning around this much weight, this seems really light, and because of that huge contrast in weight, the M slice layers, they seem much lighter than the outer slices, outer layers, and you overshoot because you're used to the force on the outer side. And that's because of rotational weight. When you have this much weight to, at a certain radius away from the center, you're actually applying a lot of force, and this much weight is actually re really, really significant. Um, so the fix is actually really, really simple. Um, I first noticed this when I was playing with my uh, Moyu Weilong V2, um, which actually isn't a prototype I've heard from Moyu. I make a correction. It's not a prototype. This is pretty darn close. This is essentially the production model. Um, but um, let me take off the cap. I don't actually have springs. I use the maglev tension. Um, and it's it's uh, because of the magnets in the core, it's really, really, really heavy. Um, yeah, but I noticed because of the weight, I was nailing all my M slices. And I was thinking to myself, why is it not like that in this one? Like, I was nailing all my M slices on 
my modded one, but not this one, and I started thinking back to physics, it was rotational weight. So how can we do this in all cubes without maglev tension? Because the maglev tension is really expensive and we're not gonna sell it because it's like really, really heavy. It's not for everyone because some people don't like the weight and it's also pretty expensive. Um, civil, the solution was so simple. You just have to add weight to the inner slices um, in the form of the center cap. I just glued a washer into all of the caps and I balanced the weight. So there's just as much weight in the middle layer as the outer layer. And suddenly I was nailing my M slices. Um, it was such a simple fix for such a stupid problem um, that I just felt really, really dumb. Um, so there you go. The solution is just uh, glue a washer in there to balance the weight. Um, and the cool thing about gluing the washer in there is because, because the weight's in the center, and it goes back to the rotational weight, it doesn't take for as much force to rotate this as it does weight on the outer radius. So when you're turning outer layers, you don't even feel the force in the middle. It's only when you do the inner slice. But the weight when you pick it up, it's, a, it's about like 10 or 12 more grams. So if you don't like really, really heavy weight, um, you won't like this. But for me personally, adding that weight to have the security in the M slices is crucial because I need to nail um, H perm, U perm, uh, certain things like that. Um, to get really good results. Because even in CZCT, I still get M moves. Um, to me, um, I get used to the weight after a while, and it just reminds me of the old school cubes which were around this weight. Um, so yeah, just glue in washers, your M slices become good because they balance out the weight. Um, so um, to end this video, I'm gonna tell y'all a bunch of other uh, small random details. So Project Boron 22, I got your responses. Um, I'm gonna read out the statistics in a little bit, but I told the boss, um, I gave him all the details and information and stuff, and he's um, still not fully convinced. He, he still doesn't like the colors. Um, the gray thing is a big uh, deal breaker, um, even with all the opinions, so Let's see what the testers say. Um, with the, the Volk, I uh, modded the Volk with the boron treatment, and I noticed Chi-Yi plastic doesn't react as well as Mo-Yi plastic. So um, I'm gonna have to like, I think for an appropriate test, there's two options. I can either uh, boron treat a GTS and send them to testers, or wait for the GTS too. Um, so I'm thinking I'll probably treat the GTS um, and then send them out to testers to get their opinion. And the cool thing is those are a capped design. So um, the cap will go on the outside and it'll look perfectly normal, which is really good. Um, but I have some numbers. I read through all of the comments last night and I put it all into a big Excel sheet and I got all your opinions tabulated out. So regarding the color, four people don't like the color, five people expressed no opinion on color, and an overwhelming 121 people were okay with the color, which is, that's great. Like, I'm really glad that everyone else really cares about performance. Um, and about the logo, uh, 54 people expressed no opinion, 56 people said they liked the old logo, uh, four people say, I know, 20 people say they prefer the new logo. So um, what we can do in the short term is if you request old logo for your premium cube, we will totally put one on for you. I talked to the boss and hopefully we can get that worked out. So if you specifically say in the order comments, I want old logo, we can totally fulfill that for you, no problem. Like, um, this last video was actually a pretty cool experience. I got, to, I got way more community response than I thought I would. And it, it was nice to engage uh, the community because um, I think that's what we need to do as a cube store. We need to uh, understand the community's wants and needs and better gauge you directly and actually like give you feedback. Um, that's important to me. Um, I can't respond to everyone, sorry. Um, but it's good to get everyone's feedback and we're gonna use this feedback. I'm gonna try to get Boron released. Uh, the timeline's gonna be, we're gonna get testers' opinions um, 
If the testers say yes, then the boss will consider it, and then we order the chemicals and we go forward. Um, I think that's all I had to say. Um, oh yeah, I have some big projects coming up. Um, I got a new project just today. Uh, that one's getting fast, super fast tracked. Like so fast it might actually, I might be able to talk about it next week. My super big project is delayed for two weeks because of equipment failures. Um, low on budget. Um, but we'll see. I'm hoping to get even cooler news out to you guys soon. Uh, I'll keep you all updated on my projects and um, this YouTube thing is pretty fun. So, uh, good luck getting your M-slices working and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video.